What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. I'm getting a signal here on the queues while the entire markets are up ginormous. I'm going to play this a little bit differently. Uh, differently from what I normally trade it because um, I want to trade this signal here. I'm going to trade the 190 calls that expire in 11 days. I'm going to actually set myself a uh, uh, sort of stop loss here. I'm going to go ahead and trade two and market i am in mm -hmm. i believe i'm in at six dollars and 40 cents and i'm gonna get a uh, stop loss of six dollars six dollars i'm gonna limit my downside and it's already coming down drastically but it's okay we're just gonna sit there and just um we're gonna see we're gonna see what uh what happens here just to show you the order here bought two of the April 17th 190 calls they expired in 11 days bottom at six dollars and 40 cents they're already down quite a bit 619 by 625 and normally I like to be deep in the money again for demonstration purposes 640 plus 640 so I'm gonna sell one at seven dollars and four cents that's what I'm hoping that it gets up to all right guys let's see what happens let's see if we can get up to seven dollars and four cents so we can sell out at a 10% gain and we're gonna hold the other one for bigger gains Went ahead and sold one at 650, tiny minimal gains, but uh, let's see um, if we can get more at uh, 704. Um, I just don't, that, that gap, that ginormous gap is um, pretty scary. <laughs> uh, but I did sell one just now, um, 650. I went ahead and sold the other one at 670 uh, and that's good enough for me. I only made $40 today. Um, just, uh, I, I just, I have a gut feeling that it's going to start coming down and it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for it to actually, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be tough for it to actually continue up higher. So I will take that and it might blow up from here and it did blow up mm. what's up everybody this is giovanni from the options trading channel i got to follow my plan i have to check my emotions at the door and it's really frustrating it's really starting to get to me my biggest issue right now this second is the idea that I don't have enough money in my account should I get myself in a really bad trade again um, the last time that I got a, I had a really bad trade I lost $500 and basically I traded the strategy itself and that's okay not any there's not a single strategy on this planet that is gonna give green trades green signals um, perfect trades all the time it's just that's not the way this works and I understand that so I really do have to check my emotions at the door and really just trade the the strategy trade the plan uh, follow the plan and that's what I'm gonna do um, really quick let me show you something that I did and I want to explain something to you um, about the strategy that I'm using uh, that I absolutely love and I'm just gonna let the numbers uh, work themselves out and uh, let's get to the uh, screen so I can show you that. What I wanted to show you, I did this over the weekend. Uh, basically, I um, got the trading report of all the trades for the last 365 trading days, not 365 calendar, calendar days, but the trading days, so about a year and a half or so worth of trades. In the last 365 trading days, the strategy took 108 trades 
had you actually traded the underlying stock ETF SPY and traded 100 shares and traded the strategy to the T um, and you didn't imply anything else, just followed the signals, the entry signals and the exit uh, signals, you would have made out total profit of $7,847 after 108 trades. Here is the interesting thing. Out of the 108 trades that the strategy took, 57 trades were in the red, uh, meaning it lost money. And you can see the total amount lost. Um, had you again traded 100 shares and exited when the strategy said, and then 51 uh, trades were in the green. Um, this is not implying any kind of skill, any kind of strategy. It's literally just following the arrows, entry and exit arrows. Um, here's what happens when you add a little bit of money management skills and, and managing the trade. Um, in a nutshell, what I did was I, I went in individually on all the red um, trades, all the bad trades, and implemented my 10%, selling half at 10%, and writing the rest for bigger gains or um, exiting out at the exact entry level again. So breaking even on the second half. You can see that, um, you can see by the W for win, how crucial it is that you implement money management skills. And you can see, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and count them for you. 34 out of the 57, you could have squeezed out at least 10%. I hope I'm making myself clear. You have to put some type of scaling out strategy, man, money management uh, strategy. It helps out tremendously. Now, some of these trades uh, that you were in the red, there were big losses. They were about 40%, 50% uh, losses. So basically for any one loss, uh, you might, you know, might take you three or four trades to actually regain that uh, that loss. Um, many other, many people have, you know, different ideas. You may want to find a strategy that makes more money uh, percentage-wise than your losses. Uh, but either way, guys, um, that's. I just wanted to show you this. How amazing it is once you implement. Um, your scaling out technique and or money money management skills there you have it folks um, I am just gonna let this thing do what it's supposed to do what it's designed to do and um, it'll work out guys so stay tuned on the very next trade although today's trade was a green trade I made a tiny little bit but I didn't stick to my strategy. I didn't stick to the plan. So hopefully the next time I will win or lose, I'm going to show you that trade win or lose. I'm going to trade the strategy. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. See you here next time.